Hi, I'm Megan. Welcome to today's live reading of Beach Ball Blunder by G. Paul Rhymes, presented by Itsy Bitsy Book Bits. Join me. The sunrise was spectacular and colors filled the sky. When Cray was with his friends, he was a very happy guy. Sitting on the jetty rocks, their clever friend, Seal Gray, was spinning beach balls on his nose, his favorite way to play. The ball was spinning faster, Gray delighted with a grin. He bounced and bounced, not knowing soon the trouble would begin. It shot way up in the air and almost hit Gull Ray. It plummeted back down toward the beach, then bounced off Turtle Fay. A rebound on the sand dune sent it zooming to the beach. Gray stretched out to stop the ball, too bad he couldn't reach. Then straight into an ice cream cone, half eaten by a girl. That beach ball splattered everything with double rainbow swirl. Fox Hay kept both eyes covered when the ball came rolling by. Her sand castle was flattened and it made her want to cry. Gray was, Gray was feeling guilty, scared of what his friends might say. He told a lie to make the awful feeling go away. When eyes turned upon him, Gray exclaimed, it wasn't me. It must have come from somewhere else. Did anybody see? What an awful situation. They were getting so upset, saying mean things to each other, hurtful words they would regret. Sadness grew within Gray's heart, his body filled with fright. Scared to tell the truth, he knew he had to make it right. Please, let's stop our fighting. It was me. It was my ball. I'm sorry that I lied, that I upset and hurt you all. Cray explained that lying only causes lots of harm. Accidents will happen, like the time I lost my arm. Cray said, I've learned my lesson and I'll never lie again. He worked all afternoon to clean the mess and help his friends. We forgive you, Gray, said Cray. That's what good friends do. Now let's all go and have some fun. We'd love to play with you. Cray was sure his group of friends could handle anything. He cracked a smile and wondered what the coming day would bring.